let's start setting up our router uh, routes uh, for this one here. And again, click backend. I'm going to click make a new folder. I'm going to call it routes with an S. And in here, I'm just going to create one call to do's as well. So they're the same name as the other one. I'm actually going to go, no, I'm going to handwrite, that's fine. Const express equals to required. You might as well get used to typing a lot of stuff and express. Or if you're lazy, you can just go copy it from your uh, app or the to do. It's in there as well. So router is the next one we'll be doing. So we're going to use the express. Uh, oops, that's capital R, capital R. We're going to use the express router to help us move data. So this is kind of the middle area where we have it. So our REST API. And the last cons we're going to do is to do. So I'm going to create one so I can just use this uh, name throughout whatever I'm doing later on. So I'm going to require this uh, to do here. And what I'm going to use is the models or the schema I have, right? Model slash to do. So the ones I just created in the previous video. So we are we're making sure that the scheme is being used correctly. Good. So I'm going to have one that's called get all routes. Um, or it's not actually all routes, it's all items or all to do. So that's basically what it is, all to do's, uh, like so. All to do routes. Cool. So in this one, I'm going to use the router const that I have up here. So the express router, and I'm going to use the dot get. So this is like from Mongo, if you are familiar with this one. So if you're using Postman, for example, you can use dot get post, uh, put update and so on and so on, delete. So I'm going to use get because I want to get the information from Mongo in this case. And I want to send this to the, the front one, right? so the, uh, the front part of the page. I'm going to be using async in here. You can also use standard promise if you want to, if you feel like that's better uh, or not better. But if you prefer those over this one, that's fine. Um, and in here, just like before, I'm going to use the rest and required. I'm going to use the... Uh, yeah, I'm getting a hang of this keyboard now. Uh, so to the front part, and again, I'm attaching an async because I want to use the await statements as well. And in here, I'm going to do a const dot to do's. And here I will do a find basically. Um, so since we're using async, we need to use await as well. Um, and to do, so I'm grabbing this one up here. So the const I created before, and I'm going to use the dot find whoops, which, sorry, which basically the, the dot find is basically where we're, it's a method to return all occurrences in the database. So it's sort of like a select from a Mongo, no, not a Mongo, a, a relational database. So we're just grabbing all the information we have in that one or in the, in the server with this one here. So the rest will again use the, uh, the JSON uh, response here and taking all those information grabbing all information and I'm going to put this into a, not this one, but into a to do's, right? So we have those here and we can then present them to the browser. So again, this is just a name I'm using for, for this one here. You can, if you're doing something else, projects, um, like cars, people, users, whatever, just make sure that they're the same in this case, right? So our iterative name here. All right. So we also need, so we can use this elsewhere. We need to export this, um, and we you do this similar to the other one in our to do's models when we need to export with an S um, and I'm going to export the router here. So it's available throughout the system uh, and not only in this file here. Cool. So this is the first part of our, um, of our router here setup. So we set up our express, our router, our to do and a fly is in my face. And um, we are using or incorporating, importing uh, the, uh, the models I'm using from to do's. And then in this case, I'm oh, in this case here, I'm just using the router again, using this path here. So the front end path, uh, once we get to or type this in, so in our case, just uh, when we start above you, uh, with a slash, then we go to the front page. This is where we'll be presented with our uh, all our um, information from the MongoDB, right? Cool. So in the next one, I'm going to complete it with the other routes we need for this system, which is three or four more. Uh, so see you in the next video.